Ivy Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. We are coming up on Election Day, if you're watching this on YouTube. And it is before, like, February 22nd or 23rd, whatever it is. You can still participate in Jewish Chicago. Otherwise, it's going to be free all over Chicagoland. It'll be free on the web. Make sure you pick it up. Community policing, we're always very strong on community policing. Tips24.org and um, ntnm.org. You can catch all of our shows, like I said, on YouTube. Um, it is a pleasure to bring back uh, one of the leading candidates in the 10th Judicial Subcircuit, um, somebody who herself has good police connections, and that is Colleen Reardon Daly. How are you? It's a pleasure to be back. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Avi. Thank you, Sonny. And I want to thank, um, well, first of all, I want to say hi to Phil Malfacey. And to Baxter Swilly and also Tom Stapka, I believe, you're, yes. you're dealing with? Yes. So, yeah, you've got three of my favorite people over there. <laughs> Great. They're all good people. Absolutely. Definitely. So how's the campaign? The campaign is going well. Um, as you know, Election Day is five weeks from today, March 15th. Today's right. a Tuesday. It's going well. Um, we're, we've been at it for a while and boots-to-the-ground type campaign. A lot of community support, a lot of family, a lot of friends, and trying to do everything possible to meet as many voters and to let as many voters know about my credentials as possible. Right, and tell us about your credentials. <laughs> I've been a lawyer for 19 years. The first 13 years, I was a prosecutor with the state's attorney's office, and I started um, in the criminal appeals division, and then went on to the juvenile justice bureau and the felony trial division. Um, I, I loved working there. I tried many cases, felonies um, in both jury and bench trials, made a lot of friends, <clears throat> got a lot of experience, was in front of a lot of fine judges. And six years ago, I went into private practice. And for the last six years, I have a civil and criminal and administrative defense type practice. I practice in a couple different areas. One of my main areas is juvenile law, where I represent children as their guardian ad litem. Ah, that's important. Very important. On the flip side, I also represent their parents at times who are trying to correct the conditions to have the children return to them. I do criminal defense. I also do some domestic relations, and I work in the administrative law area. I often represent police officers in administrative proceedings, and I often represent individuals in DCFS investigations and subsequent litigation in the administrative arena. Right, and you've got some police in your family also. I do. My, my husband's a police officer, um, police sergeant, um, great guy, great, great husband, great father, great police officer. My stepfather is a retired police commander, and my father-in-law, who died very suddenly last year, was one of my favorite people, he was a retired police sergeant. Yeah. And I have some brother-in-laws who are also with the police department. Yeah, as you know, Sonny and I are real big fans of the Th police. That's so what you said. Definitely. That's that's what you've said. I've so heard that as well. Very, they don't get a tenth of the credit they deserve for what they do and for the danger involved. I, I could take up the rest of your your time, and I don't want to do that. I want you to talk about you and why people should vote for you. Thank you. Uh, what I think um, makes me a very qualified candidate <clears throat> is a couple things. My balanced perspective that I've obtained over the last 19 years. I worked as a prosecutor and I've now been a defense attorney. I think that balanced perspective and that ability to hear and see both sides of an issue is essential. And I'm proud that I have obtained that um, through my legal experience. I'm also very happy to report I have very positive bar ratings. Um, all the bar associations have found me either highly qualified, qualified, or recommended. So I'm very, very honored to have achieved, achieved those ratings that my hard work and my diversity has been recognized. Um, moreover, um, I have I am running in the 10th Judicial Subcircuit, where I was born and raised. Every home I've ever lived in has been in the 10th Judicial Subcircuit, and I'm raising my family here. Oh, we should give people the boundaries. That's very important. The boundaries, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And as you know, the subcircuits are very cut out and kind of in puzzled. In Chicago, gerrymandering? <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> so the, the general boundaries are, um, they incorporate a lot of different neighborhoods, but the neighbor, neighborhoods, the north and northwest side. So we have um, basically Devon to Belmont, I would say, 
um, to west of Harlem, the Belmont border is more of an eastern border. And then I have parts of Park Ridge and Niles and some of Morton Grove and Des Plaines. North and northwest side, sub-circuit. Yeah, and um, it's definitely a growing nice area. It's a very nice area for the most part. It's a great area. And, and like I said, I um, was born and raised here, and I'm raising my family here. I'm proud and really humble. How, how many kids do you have? We have three. Oh, very nice. So I have a 15-year-old daughter. I have a 13-year-old daughter and a 9-year-old son. And um, great kids. Um, we've been blessed. Um, they're good students. They love sports. And my husband and I have been very blessed with wonderful children who are um, very supportive of this campaign. I haven't been around as much as usual, <laughs> but they've all been picking up the slack, and my husband has been doing double duty. So I really appreciate that, which has given me an opportunity to try to meet as many voters and community members so they can learn about my credentials. Very cool, definitely very cool. So I know with uh, people like Phil and Baxter and Tom, you've got to have a website. We, I have a website, <laughs> and it's www. I don't even know if people have to say www no, anymore. No, not anymore. Okay. Not really. I know you're more computer savvy than me. Colleen Daly for Judge. Dot com. Colleen, and that's, well, I'm showing your name on the screen right now so they can Thank see you. how to spell it correctly. And um, you also have a Facebook presence. I have a Facebook presence, Committee to Elect Colleen Reardon Daly. Yes. Committee to Elect Colleen Reardon Daly. And um, definitely check it out, and really good bar ratings. Yes. So it sounds like that that's always really good qualities to have if you want to be a judge. Yeah, I'm really Not honored. to mention the diverse experience. And real happy, and recently I just um, was endorsed by the National Organization of Women, so that's very important to me. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So no, you're really doing well along those lines. You've got some good people working for you, and, um, you know, I want to wish you all the luck in the world on Thank election you. day. Thank you for you know, doing this for all of us. First of all, it's my pleasure. And, it, you know, I'll just say, when I get to meet people like you and some of the other people I deal with, it makes it feel very worthwhile, and I enjoy it, too. Thank you so much. So thank you, and thank good you. luck. Thank Take you care, so much. Probably. Take care. Thank good you. Luck. Thanks, Annie.